are at Rufus King High School. The Kingdom fans packed in for tonight's girls basketball game between Milwaukee King and Milwaukee Riverside. Gabe Knight so along with Warren Price for Riverside. They have the ball high on the left. Johnson, now the ball stolen away by Fowler. Takes it into the front court. Jump stop, right block, laid it up and in. Shaq did an excellent stop. job of waiting, anticipating that pass. Alana Johnson threw a kind of a lazy pass up top. She just stepped right into that passing lane and took it all herself. Here comes Fowler into the front court. Gets to the top of the key. Hesitation move. Gets into the lane. Beautiful pass to McWilliams. Right block. She'll lay it up and in. And just like that, it's 8-5 King. And that's what Shaq can do for you. She penetrates in the lane and creates opportunities for others. And now King controls. Pushing forward is Fowler. Fowler into the front court. Nice top cross. of the key. Crossed over. Moving to her right. Rebound to the Lady Generals. Out with a head to Fowler. Into the front court. Fowler quickly pulls up from 10 feet in the lane. Wow, is she quick. Made the shot. And it's 10-5. King doubling up Riverside. 3.25 to play. And a timeout going to be taken by Riverside. But Shaq has already got six points. Penetrating. Throwing great passes. Uh, setting people up. She is the leading assist maker in the city conference. And like I said, Shaq averages 16.4 a game and Brooksy McWilliams averages 10.9 points a game. That's their one-two combination right there. As they go, so does King. Full court press being applied now by Riverside. Breaking it is Shaq Fowler. She's going to drive. Oh, what a nice pass. Little shuffle pass to McWilliams. Full court press being applied now by Riverside. Breaking it is Shaq Fowler. She's going to drive. Oh, what a nice pass. Little shuffle pass to McWilliams. Fowler has gone cold, as you've mentioned. She brings it up. Slow walk up. Gets a screen. Moving to her right. Gets to the right elbow. Crosses over. Gets in the lane. Throws up a floater. Oh, 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 kisses oh. about every part of the rim before it finally trickles through the net. And it's 2017. An off-balance floater, too, because she was leaning towards the left when she shot that. A very difficult shot. Well, Shaq has the rare ability to be able to create offense off of her own dribble. She could give a crossover and beat somebody right from the corner. Fowler has it high on the right side for Rufus King. Crosses over. Oh. Tries a wide open teammate slicing down the middle of the lane. Destiny hooks. Lays it up and in. And the lead down to one for Riverside at 2019. Shaq had a crossover between her legs and a no-look pass to a streaking Destiny Tooks down the middle of the lane. Beautiful. Now driving right side. Kissing it high off the glasses. Gilliam shot no good. Fowler offensive rebound. Her little eight-foot jumper is good. And King has the lead once again at 21-20. Shaq's got 11 right now. Alana and Shaq are going at it. Going at each other here. Trying to be the game's highest scorer. Fowler able to corral the rebound. She's going to push up. Flying down the right sideline. Gets into the paint. Flips up a tough shot. Oh, Three oh, defenders oh, around her. She kissed it off the glass and good. 28-24 King. 145 to play in the second. Double pumped. She's got 13 right now. She's just tough, man. She gets in there whenever she wants to, it seems. And she just gets her shot off. Jumpers haven't been falling, but she has been able to get into the paint at will. And her, her shot chart from inside four or five feet has been pretty good tonight. Oh, nobody, nobody thought about covering Ashley Quizare, who checked into the game. Apparently, nobody realized it. And now Fowler steals the inbound pass, pulls up right elbow, hits oh. the jumper, 33-26. After I was describing how nobody just decided to guard Quizare on the left block, she was wide open. Once again, another dime dropped by Shaq, this time to Ashley Quizare, and then gets the steal and then pulls up. With a jumper, she's got 15 already here in the first half. Almost half of King's points. Fowler trapped in the backcourt, and she's going to be able to push it up ahead to Patterson. Back to Fowler. Fowler bounce pass. Oh, what a no look. On the right block. Fowler high on the left. Moves to her right. Going one on one. Gets a screen. Pulls up. Right elbow. And she drilled it. 39 29. Back to a 10 point lead. For the Lady Generals. Jaslyn Drake just got abused on her on that play. <laughs> and she's, she, I think she's been the one that's been trying to stick with Shaq. It's not working. Johnson to inbound once again. Looking, looking. Trying to find an open teammate. Lobs the middle of the floor. Fowler trying to steal it away. Finally did tap it to herself. What a one pass. One-handed pass to Gilliam ahead. Gilliam didn't see it coming, oh. and she stepped out of bounds on the baseline. Fowler had Gilliam all to herself, and Gilliam couldn't get it to go down, and Fowler's going to check out for the first time. She's such a wizard with the ball. I mean, she got that ball in one-handed pass all the way from the other three-point line all the way down to the other baseline, and it was right on point. High on the right. 
with the switch. Johnson ends up back up on Fowler. Fowler, top of the key, backs away, stands between the rings, gets a screen, moving to her right, pulls up straight on, just in shot. The arc trailed the long jumper, and Shaquille Fowler gives her team a two-point advantage, 51-49. 21 points for Shaq, and now she's, shoot, shoot, uh, she's showing her outside shooting range. Shaq can also shoot, so she's a dual threat out there, so yep. you don't know whether she's going to shoot or whether she's going to drive, but Johnson has play, been playing her for the drive. See if Fowler can respond. They need some threes. They need some baskets in a hurry. How about a three-point play for Fowler as she drives and is whistled? She that's, drives, made the shot, and a Fowler, I, I believe uh, the foul may go on Edwards here. That's three the hard way. She's got 23 now to Shaq. Looking for 24, but more importantly, looking to cut this lead to four. Shot is good. Timeout taken by King. With Shaq, she can do it all. She can penetrate. She can shoot. She's the leading scorer on this team with 16.4 points a game. Brooksy McWilliams does provide a, 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 a low post threat. Uh, the tough threat is down low that you need to get rebounds and everything. But this team goes as Shaq goes. And every time she plays, she does something different that makes me just go, wow, man, I can't believe she did that. I've watched her play. She's a junior. I've watched her play since she was a freshman. And she's just an amazing talent. She's already signed a letter of intent. She's playing at Illinois State after she graduates. She's still a just Redbird. a junior. Yep, she's going to be a Redbird playing in the Valley Conference. But uh, something interesting about her, talking with Coach McCoot last year, he said, you know what? This young lady, she's never had her shot blocked. Even the coaches will try to block her shot in practice. And Coach McCoot's a tall guy. He's like 6'5", 6'6". He can't even block her shot. 